And we are back with a little bit more Solaris gameplay. Right now, I'm a little bit concerned that my new um, my new areas are going to have an uprising. Well, it's only 64, so it's not the end of the world. But I do have some uh, food-related problems that need to be resolved as soon as possible. Uh, but thankfully, we're directly controlling all these worlds, and uh, we will uh, plop down stuff that we can that we can use there. Oh, hello. Uh, stronghold. Yes, we definitely want to repair those. Hydroponics farm, we want to repair that. And this is another stronghold. So the strongholds we need, because they generate defensive troops that will lower the amount of... Um, <clears throat> The amount of stuff that we have got going on there. In addition, we're going to need to re rename these worlds to something a little bit more useful. Something that is a little bit more, um... Let's say, thematically approving. So, um... Ba -ba -ba -bum, that would be... Pro uh, yeah, provinces of the Roman Empire. There we go. Senatorial provinces. Of course, we're gonna go and rename Up Up, which is a ridiculous name, to uh, Galia, and uh, we will rename the star also to Galia, so we can easily find it in a pinch. That's probably not how we spell Galia, but whatever. Uh, then this one is going to be hmm, Egyptus. We already have. How about Africa? There we go. So we'll rename the planets to Africa. So a couple of people were asking, Aspect, why exactly did you not um, hand over those planets to your vassals? There's a couple of good reasons for that. And the main reason for that is is that uh, I wanted to um, keep uh, Germania minor minor, and B, I wanted to get the resources from the planets because right now our economy is in a little bit of of a bind. We can get a bunch of tech out of this. I believe one of my science ship is moving out to do some surveying on those. Actually, it is not. So let's get these research projects set up. The main other problem we have right now is that um, our target nation, the Zoifan Covenant, has joined a alliance, which is a potential long-term problem. But uh, as we build up our fleets, we should be okay. We're currently at 10,000 fleet power. So, as soon as our fleet docks, we should be in a better place, let's put it that way. Alright, so the trading hub, we will get this online soon enough. I'm a little, like I said, I'm a little bit concerned about the size of our fleets, but they are kind of necessary to um, uh, push down the enemy. We got a scientist who's dead, that is highly unfortunate. Uh, let's get a new scientist on, the, on that one. Where is this? That was over Terra. Uh, so we have the assist research there. Plus 20% technology is always good. We don't get a huge bonus because it's only a tier 1 scientician. So that is a little bit frustrating. But now that we have time to, um, to do that, I believe... Let me quickly have a double check here. We're currently on uh, Engineered Evolution. And our next... Uh, our next trade is coming up very soon. We will be going for Evolutionary Mastery. Once we have Evolutionary Mastery, we can basically bring our species up to a level that I am happy with. So we can basically genetically engineer them to the point that I am happy. We'd also need to take a look at our species, specifically the Zavan, and set their rights. So they've got academic privilege, so that increased their happiness. But what sort of... They are nomadic, which we don't need, and quick learners we don't need as well. We can't remove that right now because we do not have evolutionary mastery so we cannot remove any traits off of them which is a bit annoying uh we'll take need to take a look at those planets to see how they are set up and how to properly control all this stuff Ooh, hello there we will definitely upgrade you we want to upgrade this building as well because of the uh unity that it generates these guys are still a little bit of a bundle this food generation is Relatively low. How about if I move you here? That should start generating defensive armies, which should suppress the unrest modifier there. Still got some... Yeah, this is an issue. We got martial law here, which reduces unrest by 50%. Uh, Africa could be a, a midterm issue. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to move the fleet into orbit around some big station. And uh, start replacing some of the modules here. We don't need the shipyard. We need more trading hubs. Even though it's on the front line. The artisan troop wants to uh, extend the deal. Which is something I want as well. And on top of that, I just realized we can buy 
yet another art piece, which we do want to do. So let's get another art piece. I know it's 3,000. It's very expensive, but I think it's going to be useful in the long term. What if I move you over here? Oh, yeah, that doesn't really impact things at all, and we get more unity. So let's do that. Aegyptus unity output we also want to increase, but it's more of a case of where we want to place the module energy and f food is not something that we can really do something with at the moment minerals i don't want to replace energy that's plus eight but energy is mostly being generated on planet right now doing some stuff here with this minerals would maybe be a play a good idea so let's get an art monument on towards this mineral outcropping in the long term of course although hold on let me take a look here I just put that on Egyptus, didn't I? Yeah. Do I have a... No, I do not. Okay, so there is no additional growth here. Claim influence cost minus 10% is great. Um, gene purification is not something that I want. Naval capacity plus 53 months. Man, these are getting expensive. Tile blockers. Ooh, the Rigan Commerce Exchange. Minus 15 food is very, very worrying, to say the least. Um... Okay, you're generating two unity. We can upgrade you later on. We kind of want to clear this tile to get some more food. Gallia. Let's improve the food production here. So this should be an additional four food that's being generated. It's slowly but steadily uh, being reduced. Our, um, the amount that we are not creating right now. Uh, this is potentially... Oh, it's a plus four here. So I definitely want to get Gallia Citeria up and running in terms of food production. And on top of that, we can build another star base if we really want to. And that's going to be on Gallia itself. Uh, we will be able to upgrade that. We, we don't have the minerals for it right now. Our fleet is currently just casually moving along. Those are all my cruisers and two battleships as well. Uh, let's take a look at our battleship designs, actually. So let's get a battleship in here. Do we have XL slots yet? No, I do not. Impulse thruster is here. Uh, 154 months for living metal. That was to be expected. Uh, defense platforms only 13 months, but we have tech. We have particle lands in two months. So once that is up and running, we should be looking a little bit better. All right. So the fleet is here. We got some interlinked systems being researched uh, by our um, by our ships here. This is going to pick up all of this stuff. Ooh, it's only 109 days left, so we have very a very limited time to do the research on these. How's this going along? Not very fast, sadly. So we'll probably lose a bunch of the science, which is unfortunate to say the least. The Zoifan have a happiness of zero percent. There's the particle lance that we want. We can get wormhole travel, but we don't have any wormholes within our territory. Advanced reactor, gamma lasers. We are losing lasers across the board on all of our ships. Uh, these guys are now inferior to us. We could demand vasalization, and that would unlock a, um, a thing for us. Basically, we can force them to become our vassal, uh, or, but that's something that I don't feel is on the cards right now. Which is unfortunate to say the least. I would really like these guys to become my um, tributary. Because tributaries are great. They generate a lot of resources. And uh, overall it are just very strong in terms of resor uh, resource generation. I think it's like 50% or 37% of their resources go to me. A new leader. Uh, monthly unity plus 10. He's only oh, he's 85 years old. They're all really old actually. Let's just pause the game for a second. You know, you're ruling from Terra. No, no, no that's the Corvette focus guy. Cruiser build, Starbase upgrade. I kind of want this guy. Okay, so I could hypothetically do the farming subsidies edict, but capacity overload is going to be running for another three years, and I don't want to waste my influence right now because we need capacity overload to stabilize our economy. Let's get more food in. You as well. You are not generating food right now. And you are going to be doing a gene clinic. And can we build a service maximus? Yes, we can. So that's good. Oh, what's this? This is stronghold. Uh, let's move you to the stronghold, actually. So that should be generating defensive armies. We got a bunch of assault armies on the ground as well. So any uprising should be less than a problem. So we have a new leader. 
Lucius Aureus, uh, Admiral. Un oh, okay, so the Admiral on the First Legion has been removed and turned into a leader. That's fine by me. The scout trade, incredibly good. Being able to see ahead is definitely something that we want as much as possible. What do we got here? We can build another trading hub in here. We could maybe build an anchorage, but I'm not really keen on that. Uh, this station here in Gallia. Uh, 95 minerals away. We're getting 40 minerals a month now, so that is decent. Uh, once we're done with domination, we'll go down a prosperity route or harmony. Uh, Bulwark of Harmony is probably something that we'll need in the mid to long term anyway. But uh, Prosperity, we need to get our costs down. Let's get these tile blockers out of here. Seven months remaining. Nice and quick. Nothing that we need to worry about. Okay, so defense platform hull points. Are Ooh, Natronium armor. The best armor in the or kinetic battery. Or Gauss cannons. Oh man, there's just so many good options here. Quantum missiles. Uh, I kind of, living metal is kind of good. Um, and the kinetic weapons, this opens up the path to super heavy kinetic weapons. Quantum missiles, we're not really dabbling with missiles all that much. Kinetic battery, however, flushing out our cruisers would be nice because we are starting to getting, start to get towards the point where ships are a bit more focused. See, this is what I was talking about, the food here. Where is, was it Galia Citeria? Yes, there's the food that I wanted. And we'll start, uh min-maxing these worlds as soon as we can. We should have enough food uh, very soon. One of our scientists has died, however. Do we have any particle physis physicists? No, we do not. They're all exploration scientists, sadly. Let's get a nice and fresh one. 29 years old. Let's get that one on board. Oh, we had another scientist already. Oh, hopefully that doesn't cause any problems. Okay, so you are done. So, Terra Hispania Ultior. So this one has a bunch of science on it, so let's get the science ship out here. Oh, hello there, space cows! Thank you for joining us. Oh, that's so cute. How do they even move in space? Nobody knows. <laughs> yes. So Africa and Gallia have troops on the ground. Now we're just waiting for the population to be under our control. And we have taken a good chunk of their worlds. Uh, we've closed off this system. They're not going to get in here. With a strategic uh, position. So this is going to be our next strategic position right here. Uh, sadly, we couldn't get so far. Uh, so we would need to get a strategic position in Asgard, Astrop, and Eglarvaris. These three positions to push in. So later on, we'll push troops down through here. So this becomes a strategic element. Um, this becomes a strategic element. And potentially this one as well. So we, have, we technically need three fleets in order to get this rolling. Society research. Let's start getting gene warriors and then uh, improve our armies based on that. We're almost at um, the technology that we want, or at least the ascension perk that we want, so we can start modifying our species into the most glorious Roman visage. Mm. And the cup of tea as well. Good timings. Mm. That's some, some good stuff right there. Mm, okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, so Britannia, Gallia Citerior. Uh, we can upgrade the planetary building. We got a decent amount of minerals. I kind of want to improve the starport here because I want to start getting trading hubs on towards this planet. Uh, Soul, we want to upgrade as well, but uh, getting to Star Fortress is expensive. It's 2,000 minerals. Uh, maybe we can also start thinking about reinforcing our fleets a little bit. Uh, so we can reinforce this with a couple of corvettes. Two corvettes we need to reinforce on towards this fleet. Uh, so that's good. Oh, we, uh, what's your name? Okay, so can we, can we actually rename? Yes! Okay, so this is the, our best admiral. Okay, cool. Biggest, dickus. Perfect! The, the most Roman of names. Oh no, they've closed their borders to us. Why? Why have you closed your borders to us? Anyway. Protection racket. We've gone down the domination tree. It's completely useless to us now. Evolutionary mastery. Oh yeah. I haven't done evolutionary mastery in so long. Gone are the days when survival of our species was at the whims 
and at the mercy of chance. When a Roman's fate was decided on the whims of nature in genetic lottery. The engineers of our time will not work in steel and country concrete, but in the very building blocks of life itself. With advanced gene modification, we will secure the future of our nation. I like how it's concrete. The Romans are known for their concrete. It took us it took us it took us almost a millennium to figure out how their concrete actually worked. Anyway, let's go and modify these tier templates. Uh can oh wait, do we need to have the special project first? Alien procurement? Or do we need the technology for it? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, genetic resequencing. That's gonna take a while. It's 103 months. Okay, so... Unrest on good authority. Ethics attraction. Author author authoritarian ethics attraction, even. Still minus eight food is not good. Especially considering we only have about ten months of food remaining. Uh, okay, let's start with this. Minus two. It's a little bit more doable. And the food output is just terrible. Britannia is <coughs> almost completely ready. All right, we got food here. Let's move you in there. There we go. Plus food again. So our new science colony here at Hispania Citeria is starting to look good. We need to start fleshing out the, the buildings down there, though. But the amount of minerals that we have is limited. And until we go down the prosperity route, we will not be able to do all that much. But we get three additional uh, gene modification points. And um, modifying special uh, species projects is uh, also very good. Uh, we could create the template here and make these guys a bit happier because they have eight trait points remaining. Happiness plus five in the communal, so that makes them a little bit happier, which is good. Reducing consumer good costs would be nice. Maybe intelligent to get the tech up there. Some industrious, maybe. Yeah, so that's good. So let's... Apply this template to these here Xenos. Thirty months. Uh, we, we can't do it because we're doing the we're doing gene seed purification right now, and after that we need to uh, get the tech, uh, the special project at least, or the tech to get the advanced traits as well. So that's our mid to long term stuff. We got a s ocean world here, which is potentially interesting. Yes, I know that it has timed out. Uh, can we terraform this? Terraform. We don't have the resources for it. Continental World will cost 5,000 energy to do so. So that is sadly not on the cards right now. Okay, so we could upgrade this. Like, there's a lot of resources here we want to tap into. Mostly energy and mineral related anyway. But we're already setting this up as a mineral world as well. Which is unfortunate. How is Galia doing? Cool. So let's get the trading hubs in there. And as soon as those are done, we'll get the... Um, uh, where is it? The off-world trading company. So we get a little bit more energy into our system. Which is good. You know, would be a nice thing to have. A lot of people are asking, hey, what, why are these stations all over here? Well, there's a good reason for that. It is the Nebula Refinery, which generates uh, a good chunk of our mineral income uh, over here. So that's good. And then we got the Singularity, of course. Uh, we actually haven't upgraded the Starhold to upgrades to the Black Hole Observation. Which would generate even more physics research for us. Which is sadly, um, mineral-wise, we need to be a little bit more flexible. Let's take a look at how happy people are without... That's, oh no, the Freeholders really don't like us. Apparently we were at war with them. Uh, the Zufon Covenant is rivaling us. These guys have closed their borders. These guys love us. These guys love us. And these guys have a non-aggression pact with us. So that's nice. Oh god, these guys really don't like us. These guys don't like us because of our bombardment policy and we're allied uh, to their rivals and we're, we're probably rivaling their allies. Actually, no, we are not. But overall, you know, it's uh, everybody's relatively happy with us except for this batch over here. We got the the Bloodborne, but they're Xeno, they're, they're Xeno purging maniacs. Um, AI attitude borders. So these guys are hostile. They will try to attack us if they can. These guys are unfriendly. These guys are friendly. And these guys are cordial. But even if because they're even if they're cordial, they still don't want to have a defensive pact with us. Why? Because I don't know. We could try to increase their trust with us by setting a guaranteed of independence. 
It will cost us a bunch of influence a month. So let's go and do that. And that in combination with the... I believe it is... Is it Colonial Viceroy's? No, it's a Diplomacy one, isn't it? Yeah. No. It is not. Oh, it's this one. It's a Federal... U no, is it Federal Unity? I can't remember which one it was. It's not Entente. Oh, it's the... It's just enacting the Diplomacy one. That will help growth between empires. Capacity overload has expired. Our economy is still in the plus regardless. Um, I still want to run Capacity Overload, because it is one of the better ones. Okay, so our energy is now 65. That's good. Gallia uh, still has some unrest going on. 55, that's fine. We can deal with that. Some mines. And we have a dead leader. So our physics researcher has died again. Uh, didn't I have, like, a spare leader floating around? I could have sworn. Yes. Hello there, spare leader, who is a carefree anomaly researcher that's doing physics research for no reason whatsoever. Uh, Titus Domid uh, Domitus is also doing very well. Very good to have you die, Titus. You know, s sciencing those those thunder warriors. I'm sure that uh, the emperor, emperor would approve of this. Ooh, energy. So, this world, is this actually practical to have an energy processing plant here? It's arguable, really. <clears throat> so the bonus is 20%. 20% of our energy output, which is... Eh, it's, it's not great. It, it does have consecrated world, uh, gr consecrated world, though. Which means the unity output here is actually massively increased. I'm kind of tempted to change this energy grid then to something else. We could move it to an energy nexus and then we'll generate more unity once we go down the prosperity route. But I just, uh, they have a hollow temple. You're not producing a lot of science. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, can we get a memorial on here? Or is that the temple, the most logical endpoint of that? It looks like it is. Okay. No, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, actually. But food, at least, is now in the plus again. So we're growing. Uh, Africa. What's our energy output here? Minus nine. Okay, so why on earth is there an energy grid here? Uh, that's a power plant that's been ruined. Um, uh, okay, so we've got a couple of power plants on this planet. Actually, let's turn this then into a general power plant base build, uh, base planet then, and then upgrade the energy nexus. I think that will be fine. Uh, the mineral output here, how many minerals is this planet producing? Like, four? Okay. No, well, this is garbage then. Yo, what's this in this, in this spot? It's a plus three tile though. So let's just replace this with a basic mine then. We've got a private collector. A private collector in Africa has somehow come into ownership of an ancient precursor artifact believed to be of youth origin. Despite of government pressure, uh, it's uh, buy the uh, artifact for an ex exorbitant sum. It belongs into a museum. Let's the collector keep it. Um, it belongs into a museum. Ooh, it's Achaeon lands. 51 months. Now we're talking. Now we're getting to the end game. Disruptors, I'm still not interested in that. Uh, let's get barrier point defense, though. Ooh. The Commonwealth will give us a research agreement. What do we get out of this? They have 4, 8, and 2. And we've got all the science! But we kind of want to get the resources, though. The resources are nice. Good! And that means we can buy another artisan or piece. Perfect. Uh, where are we going to put this? Britannia has potential. We are generating a quite a lot of resources here. This one is not doing anything at the moment. So let's just replace this with an art monument. Okay. Another scientist has died. He was supporting... Uh, let's get a an actual decent scientist here. Sense of community. Egalitarian ethics. Huh, interesting. Well, that's fine. Uh, and in the meantime, we got now 1,200 stuff and things. And that means that we can finally build the off-world trading company that we wanted for a while now. Uh, what else is going on on this planet? Martial law, consecrated, no energy production yet because of the ridiculous amount of unhappiness. Planetary unrest is not, hap uh, not useful. Planetary habitability is not useful. These guys... We're in an alliance. Can we uh, ask for association status? The, we cannot propose this because the Zufron Covenant has declared us as a rival. 
We could just unrival them, but that would impact our influence. We're getting half a point of influence from a rival, so... But they're all the way down here. I'm just a little bit concerned. All this purple border stuff, it means they're in an alliance, and this alliance is gigantic, so... What do you want? Minerals for a research agreement? What do we get out of this? Ten, ten biology ones. Yes. Yes, I do want to have the resources. K okay, thanks. Also, we'll make them happy. Uh, yeah, this planet... Citerio. There's a lot of upgrade potential, to say the least. Did we... Yes, we did. Okay, so we have a gene clinic here. Well, this is more... This is going to be just a pure science world at this point. So let's just get the labs down. We're just spending, spending, and then let's get the this building up, up and running. So nothing but labs here, and let's clear this building. And maybe we'll put in a... A food source here. Our committers, research speed plus five percent. Let's do it. As soon as we're done with the biology one, we'll go down for the, the gene seed warriors because we need those anyway. Food, food, minerals. Why is this so low? Uh, planetary unrest. Okay, that's fine. Let's move you over there. Thank proofs growth. Okay, we can't nerf staple them yet. Kinetic battery is nice. Um, let's go for Space Torps. That's good. And on that one, we're gonna go and wrap up the episode right here. It's, uh, it's been a short one. I, I know. I know. We had, a, we had a lot of management to do. We had to juggle all of our stuff around, getting resources, stabilizing our economy, integrating stuff within our empire. It's, uh, it's been, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. A roller coaster that's mostly going down the end of the thing. But technology-wise, we're pretty much wrapping things up. Within the chain, I'm way ahead of everybody else. So that's pretty much what we want. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and, as always, each other.